Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today we are going to be installing Windows NT 4.0 in VirtualBox. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Don't forget to share this video, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. With this being said, let's get right into it. The only software that you will need is VirtualBox. And the only file you'll need is this ISO, and I'm gonna make sure I link everything in the description, and don't worry about using AdFly, I just use it to shorten the links. So open up VirtualBox and click New. And put in a name, I'm going to call it Windows NT 4.0. And it's going to automatically select the type of it. So click Next, and put it an amount of RAM. I'm gonna put 256 megabytes, but don't put too much. It's not gonna recognize it, and you might get an operating system error internally, or a VirtualBox error. And this might be, most probably, Guru Meditation Error. Click Next and click Create Hard Drive and click Create. Go to any format, click Next, and now I recommend you fix size, you can go dynamically, but I'm gonna click Next. And then you can actually select the size and you can even browse for another location. And now if you click Fix, you're gonna see this progress bar, which is going to create it. But if you click dynamically, it's going to create it instantly. Now click settings and you want to double check you have these settings. Go to system and double check these. Under display I'm gonna put more video RAM. I'm gonna put 64 megabytes and go and double check all the other settings that should be as they are on my screen right now. But now click OK and go to start. Go ahead and choose our ISO and click start. I'm going to close these and maximize. Now it's going to fire up the start the setup. You're going to see this blue screen with text, but don't worry, it's normal. And now you all you have to do is wait, it won't take long. Okay, so now you hit enter, go ahead and click enter, and go to C. Now go ahead and click page down on your keyboard to go through the pages of the ULA, and go to F8. Now double check these, and go to the above list matches my computer, and now I'm going to create a partition, and uh, it's enough, just one. Uh, you can leave it unpartitioned, but I prefer making at least one partition. So hit enter on it and then go to NTFS file system, wait for it to format, it won't take long if you have a pretty small hard drive as I did. Now click enter, click enter and it's going to check your drive. Now it's going to start copying the files. And now what you need to do once this is done is do not click enter, go to devices, optical drives and remove our disk. And now go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to restart. Now you don't have to do anything, it's going to automatically fire up. You're going to see the screen again. And it's going to reboot again. Now don't do anything, it's going to automatically boot up. Now this time you get to the graphical user interface. So now it's going to ask again for the disk. Don't worry, I just clicked something. Now you're going to go to devices and go to optical drives and select our ISO again. Click on the screen, click capture to user, mouse inside the virtual machine and click OK. Click next. Go 
go ahead and select one of the types. I'm going to go for custom and click next. If you get something with your mouse, just wave it around outside the screen. So now go ahead and put a name in. I'm going to put in my name. Okay, so if you get uh, any problems with the mouse and you can click in the downside of the screen, just wave it around outside the actual box. Put your name and click next. Uh, put in the computer name. I'm going to call it virtual workstation. It seems that I can't use uh, many more many more characters than this. What I have, so I'm going to call it desktop. And click next. And you can leave blank on a password. I'm going to leave it blank and go ahead and click click no. You can also click yes. So now you're going to select whatever you want from the list. I'm going to go ahead and just stick the games and click next and click next again and now you are going to go to wired to the network and go ahead and click select from list and select one of the adapters it doesn't really matter which one i'm just going to select a random adapter This Ethernet one looks good. I'm not gonna click OK. So now you see I have these problems. I can click OK. It gets me outside. So I'm just gonna wave it like this and now I can click OK. So click next. Go ahead and select the TCP IP protocol and click next. Leave these as they are and click next. Next. And now uh, if it says this error, just hit OK and click yes. So I'm not going to fast forward here and now you're going to go ahead and click next. Click next and click cancel. Click next and click finish. Now go ahead and put in a time zone. I'm going to put my time zone, which is GMT plus two, right? Okay. going to put just, uh, a one that's closer to me okay and click close now these are your display settings so put the resolution to maximum and click test and okay you're gonna see this and in five seconds it's gonna come back to the screen that we had previously okay and click yes if you saw the bitmap correctly and click OK. And now click OK again. It's going to start copying some files. And now remove the disk. And go ahead and restart the computer. Click enter on the Windows NT workstation and go and leave it alone. Don't press anything on your keyboard. It's just going to boot up. Again, with this blue screen, it is a normal thing. And this is the Service Pack 1 of Windows NT version 4. So now you're going to see the boot screen and go ahead and click OK. Go to input and go to keyboard and insert control alt delete. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK because I set it the password as blank. And I'm going to click close. So yeah, there you guys go. Here you got Windows NT. So if you go to properties, you can see. So hey guys, thanks for watching. See you next time on How to IT.